Hi guys! I have teamed up with several YouTube chefs to bring you this Sweet Treats Halloween Edition playlist. So sit back and enjoy the videos! Okay, we're gonna start by making these s'mores popcorn balls. Oh my gosh, these things are so good. I don't even like popcorn balls, but they're so addicting and they're easy to make. So let's get started. Alright, you wanna start with some microwave popcorn. I'm using kettle corn because I really like that sweet and saltiness of it, but you can use really any kind you want, the buttered, original, you know, whatever. Place that into a large bowl or a little bin. And now I have my um, sandwich bag here. I'm just gonna place my graham crackers inside. And now I'm just gonna crush them up, okay? I wanted to leave some of the graham crackers kinda whole, so that's why I didn't use a food processor. But this little can works perfect. Just go ahead and just crush them up and pour them into a bowl, just like that. Okay, easy enough, right? Okay, now I'm just gonna pour the graham crackers right into the popcorn. Okay, and don't forget you guys, you can find this recipe on my blog, divaskincook.com with a ton of other recipes, so go check it out. All right, now I'm just gonna mix these graham crackers up a little bit, and as you can see, they went right to the bottom, but that's okay because once we get our marshmallow in there, it's gonna just stick everything all together, okay? All right, so now we're gonna work on our glue that's gonna hold our popcorn balls together. I'm using this Jet Puff because I love it so much. I got some butter here, and I have a little bit of vanilla extract. I'm just gonna add my butter to a large pot, um, I'm melting it over medium heat, and once the butter begins to melt, once it's completely melted, you can start adding in that Jet Puff mix. I wonder who invented this stuff. I love this stuff. You can also use marshmallows, but this Jet Puff, it just uh, melts so fast. Look at that. Perfect. Now just stir it up. Keep that heat on medium. You want to burn it. And when it looks like this, which is the perfect consistency, go ahead and add in your vanilla extract. And I'm just going to bring it back to the table, okay? And then we're just going to drizzle this marshmallowy filling right on top of the popcorn. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Make sure you work pretty quickly because you don't want this stuff to start, you know, getting um, firm yet. You want to mix it all up just like that, okay? Make sure you get the corners of the um, bowl, whatever you're using. Make sure you get up all of those graham crackers. Yummy, it looks good. And if you guys, if you're enjoying this recipe, please be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment. I love reading your comments. Love them, okay? All right, I have my pan lined with parchment paper. That's where we're gonna put our popcorn balls. Now I'm gonna spray my hand so that the popcorn doesn't stick with that sticky marshmallow stuff. All right, now just grab a handful and just start to pack it really, really tight for me into a cute little ball just like that, all right? And this popcorn by itself is just good. With the marshmallows and graham crackers, it's perfect. But we are missing one ingredient, and that's that yummy, yummy chocolate, okay? Mm -mm -mm. So for the chocolate, I'm just using some milk chocolate, chocolate chips. I'm just going to pour it right into a bowl, just like that. I never measure it out. I just pour it right into that bowl. And I'm going to add in a little bit of shortening. I'm going to microwave it until it's completely melted. Make sure you stir every um, maybe 20 seconds or so. You don't want to burn it. Now I have some crushed graham crackers, my chocolate, I'm ready to go. So go ahead and take your popcorn ball and just dip it in the chocolate and then let the excess drip off and then you can sprinkle on like some um, graham crackers. You can really decorate this any way you like to. I thought it would be really cute to do like little popcorn, um, you know, little popcorn sticks. I thought it would be so cute but then this is what happened, it went right down that stick. <laughs> that popcorn said, I am not still on a pole today, not today, but it didn't work out so, you know. But then I just put these little cute little chocolate chips on there and just sprinkled on more um, graham crackers. I really suck at decorating things. I don't know why. Then you want to refrigerate that until the chocolate hardens. It will not take long at all. Okay, now I have some melted white chocolate here. I'm just going to drizzle this with some white chocolate. I like the way white chocolate tastes with this. It was really yummy. Okay, and now you're pretty much done. After you drizzle it on, let that chocolate harden up, and then you can put them in cute little treat bags with a little festive ribbon, and then you are good to go. So it's pretty easy and almost mess free for popcorn balls. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget you can get it on my blog, divasandcook.com. And for more sweet treats, be sure to check out these videos below. Bye, guys.